What is up guys? Welcome back to Things I Wish I Knew as a Beginner. This is episode two. In this episode, we're going to be talking about proper lifting splits. We can so guys, this whole idea actually originated on my Instagram page. So if you're not following me there, you should, at Willie G Fitness. Essentially, what I wanted to do was break down some of the things that I learned over the years through trial and error and get them out there to you guys before you have to learn the same mistakes the hard way. Now, a lot of people have done videos like this before, so I wanted to make mine a little bit different. I wanted to pick things that maybe weren't as obvious or weren't things that a lot of people pick. Let's get right into it, guys. I am going to disillusion you right off the bat. Chest day Monday, back day Tuesday, legs on Wednesday, shoulders on Thursday, arms on Friday, take the weekend off and eat all the crap you want, is the traditional bro split and it will get you zero, okay, maybe a little more than zero, but very, very minimal results. And if you're serious about getting gains and you really wanna actually make progress, the sooner you can get away from that split, the better. I'm gonna give you guys my three favorite splits that are gonna give you the greatest results in the shortest amount of time and on top of that I'm going to explain to you why you should be using them. Number one, we're talking about the whole body split. This one's pretty self-explanatory, whole body split. You're going to work out your entire body two to three times a week. I would say three times a week but you want to get as much frequency as possible. So what does this look like? Well, you've got Monday, whole body, Tuesday, rest, Wednesday, whole body, whole body, Thursday, rest. Friday, whole body split, and then you take the weekend off as well. Maybe focus on some stretching or running or try to stay active. This is ideal for the very, very beginners. Like if you have never worked out before, this is perfect. It gives you three times throughout the week to train your whole body, so your every muscle gets a lot of practice, but you're never you're not doing too much volume for any one specific body part, so that you're gonna be super duper sore. You know, it's like you're doing one exercise per body part. This is gonna get your body used to working out, to tearing down muscle, to rebuilding it. It's gonna give you a lot of trial and error because you're doing three workouts a week for each muscle group, which is probably the maximum you wanna do. And you're gonna get a lot of results because each time you tear the muscle, within, within about 48 hours, it's completely regrown or recuperated, especially if you're eating the right amount of protein. So you're giving yourself three opportunities to grow every single muscle in your body each week. Um, and it's gonna give you exposure to a lot of the main lifts. You're gonna learn how to squat, how to bench, how to deadlift, all this other stuff. It's gonna really, really help get the basics ingrained. So that is number one. Number two, we're gonna progress a little bit now. We're gonna get a little more advanced. Upper lower splits. Again, these names are pretty self-explanatory. The upper lower split is exactly that, an upper body and a lower body day. But there is a caveat. You're not just gonna go upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body. We're gonna go upper body, lower body, rest day, or like a cardio day upper body, lower body, but we're gonna have one of those upper body, lower body sets be focused on heavy lifting, and one of them be focused on lighter lifting. So I like to do my heavier lifting in the beginning of the week where I've got that fresh motivation coming off of the weekend and I'm ready to kill it. So for my upper body strength day, I might do really heavy bench pressing, you know, a five by five, and I might do heavy shoulder pressing, like a three by eight, and I might do some heavy rows, you know, a three by eight on the rows as well. What this is going to do is gonna test the strength of the muscle. Same with that heavy leg day. You can do five by five squats, five by five deadlifts, something to really tax the strength of the lower body. That middle day, that Wednesday usually, what you have off, I like to do some kind of cardio or get the body moving. That way we flush out some of the lactic acid and we're feeling good. And then we get to go back because guess what? Again, it's been 48 to 72 hours since the first time we worked it out. That muscle is ready to be grown again. It's ready to be torn again and grow some more. If we only work it out once a week, we're missing that whole second opportunity to grow and you're literally getting half of the gains you could be getting. So we hit it again on Thursday and Friday, but we've already really tested the strength this week. So let's test hypertrophy, which is just a fancy word for getting the muscle bigger by pushing a lot of blood into it. And so what we're gonna do is keep those reps really high. Do everything like 10 to 12 to 15 reps. So instead of doing a really heavy bench press, I might do a dumbbell bench press now, and I might do it with lighter dumbbells and really focus on that proper form, pumping, squeezing. Um, very like if you follow him on Instagram, I know he's very popular, Julian Smith style. You watch him, he'll lift a weight and he'll contract it up, squeeze, and then lower it, one, two, three, four. This idea of time under tension is crucial for building bigger muscles. It forces more blood into the muscle and it causes it to expand. 
and your muscles, they're very smart. They respond to the stimulus. So if the stimulus is a lot of weight, it's going to respond by getting stronger to accumulate or to uh, acclimate to that load. But if they're used to being stretched out by all of this blood getting pumped into them, they're smart too. They're going to say, I need to expand and enlarge to become or to again acclimate to this amount of blood flow that we're getting used to. So you want to hit both of those stimuluses in the same week. So we start with the strength, we finish with the hypertrophy, and it's a beautiful, beautiful combination. Lastly, our third split that I'm going to recommend you guys, this is the advanced one. If you've done both of the first two, you've been doing it for maybe like a half a year to a year now and you're really ready to fully get into lifting and your body is ready for all that volume. We've got the upper lower legs, sorry. We've got push pull legs and that again, just what it sounds like. You've got a push day where you're gonna focus on all the pushing muscles, AKA the chest, the shoulders and the triceps. You've got a pull day where we're gonna be focusing on the back and the biceps and the forearms. And then we've got a leg day where we're focusing on again, the glutes, the hamstrings and the quads. Oh. And I mean, we can try the calves, but no guarantee those things will grow. Anyway, this one is a six day split. So I usually run it Monday through Saturday and I take my Sundays off. That allows you to add more volume to each one of these muscle groups. So because you have days with less muscle groups on them, you can add more exercises for that muscle group. And as you become more mature, you'll find that uh, utilizing more volume is sometimes the only way your body's going to grow now. It's gotten so used to that old stimulus that you need to utilize more volume. Same idea, I like to do my first two or three days of the week heavy, my second two to three days light. Um, but sometimes I'll switch it up, I'll go back and forth, and sometimes I'll even mix. Like I might do like heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, light. It depends on how I'm feeling, but throwing in those mixing variables helps to keep things fresh. When you've been working out for a long time, you find that um, the key to longevity is keeping things fresh and switching things up. Constantly adding new variables to the equation or it's gonna keep your muscles adapting and ultimately growing. So, moral of this week's story, guys, don't focus on a bro split. I know for me, that was one of my mistakes. Uh, that's why it's in this video. I did the bro split for a while and I did not see much results from it. It was fun. It's very easy to only do one muscle a day. But if you're serious about lifting and you actually wanna get results, try one of those three splits, the whole body, the upper lower, or the push-pull legs. Give these splits a try. Comment down below what your split's like. And if you have a different one, I'd love to hear it. You know, I'm always trying new things. I've been on these splits forever, so if you guys have any new funky ones that have been working for you, let me know and I'll give them a shot. And uh, don't do bro splits. Moral of the story, stay away from the bro splits. Get on an actual functional split and watch yourself grow. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in part three.